We are back with another game from, uh, well, the online uh, festivities, uh, the Julius Bear tournament. And this time we have uh, Neiman against Aronian. And for this game we are asking the question, can you move the same piece twice in the opening and still win in 21 moves? Apparently you can, against one of the greatest players of all time. So Neiman with the white pieces. Again, these are rapid games, of course, 15 minute games. Neiman opens with e4, we have the Sicilian. Looks like it will be a knight or f d6, but d4 takes, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, a6. So looks like a knight dwarf. But here Neiman plays, well, not, not exactly one of the most popular moves in the position, bishop d3. So I'm guessing he has some idea in mind here. This position is actually quite funny because there are so many moves that White has played here. I mean, he has played f3, bishop e3, bishop g5, uh, bishop c4, uh, h3, rook g1, bishop e2, etc., etc. So, you know, many tries by White here. But here, Aronian switches around and goes for g6. And this is now the so called uh, Dragondorf, uh, a mixture of the Nightdorf and the Dragon. The dragon and the nether, and, and the nether. So you, you cut the front part of the, of the dragon, and you get the last part of the nether. So dragon dwarf. Neiman plays f3, and bishop d7. Here a move that greatly surprised me. And uh, if I mean, if this was some no no name that can't play chess, this would all. Look, a little bit suspicious, you know, bishop d3, and now he plays bishop e2. If it was somebody that, that really doesn't know how to play, I would think that I would go back here. Because in this position, computer is actually rocking between bishop e2 and f3. But at, at deep depths, f3 is the move. Here, however, bishop e2 is not on, on the radar of the computer. Uh, bishop e3 is the main move, uh, by far actually, like um, almost half a pawn, well, 0.3, 0.4 or something. But bishop e2, and now we have a, a very, a seemingly very uh, innocent setup against the, the Dragondorf. And if the Dragondorf works as an opening, then uh, surely black should be okay here. And I think he is. Uh, Ronian plays b6, bishop e3. Bishop e7, queen d2, a solid setup by white, but okay. Black keeps on going, queen g7. But now, after the solid setup, Neiman goes for g4. And he, and he tends to do that. He did play a very risky g4 move against Car uh, Caruana in Sinkfield. And, well, that one backfired, but here, okay, knight e5. Maybe black should play h6 to stop g5. Because white setup actually seems to make sense as a g5. You kind of can, uh, can't go here because I think we can play f4. And then simply just take this and, and the structure becomes ugly. Maybe not immediately. We might run into some problems with being overextended, but definitely an option. And probably why black goes knight after d7. And not b3, not the long knight c4. But here, Aronian. Makes a bad move. Rook c8 should be fine here. Uh, okay, not a very deep depth, but after, after rook c8, computer was considering this around equal to 95. But e6 is not a good move. And Neiman pounces. He plays f4. Hitting the knight, which, well, well, it only has one square. It has to go to c6. Or you can make a counterattack. In the game, Aronian counterattacked with rook c8. Uh, but in both cases, knight to b5 is very strong. And this is kind of a standard idea in, in the Sicilian to play these knight b5s, especially if you can take on b5 and, and get the two pawns and then the third pawn on, b, on d6. But here, we only get the two pawns, but it's still strong. The king is in the center, white, yeah, white is very centralized and, and, and ready to pounce. But rook c8, turns out we get a worse version of this after knight d to b5. We are going to take on d6 with check, and we regain the piece now with f takes e5. 
and stuff is hanging. So if, if we trade queens now, white will have a pleasant choice at the end of it. Uh, if you take here, you know, this will be hanging, this will be hanging, and this will be hanging. So white will have a pleasant choice. Ronian tried knight takes e5, but queen b4, and now uh, knight f5 being threatened. Black is actually just in a world of hurt, and he's lost. And I'm sure Aronia saw things, but okay, he took on e2, but resigned after knight f5. It simply made him two. King to the back rank, checkmate, and king here. Queen here, king has to go to the back rank, and then queen here, and mate. So, a 21 move win here by Hans Niemann, who stays in contention for the top 8. And with the way the script is being written, will Hans Niemann meet Magnus Carlsen again in this tournament in the knockout phase? Only time will tell. I'm not sure if I'm rooting for it or, or against it, you know, this. It's kind of like a soap opera at this point, so... I don't know where I stand, to be honest, at this point, but uh, okay, we're all here for the ride, and uh, thanks for watching the video, and uh, see you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.